Hey everybody, welcome back here. Uh, what we're gonna do uh, for this video is uh, I'm having a heck of a time getting back into the swing of things here. Crap just keeps happening. Uh, I guess I'll give you guys a heads up on what's going on so you know why I'm kind of hitting and missing and all mixed up. We, Christmas we made it through and it turned out okay and then uh, and then last Thursday uh, my sister-in-law passed away my brother's uh, ex-wife uh, but you know she's still my sister-in-law love her to death haven't seen her very much but uh, she had some complications and got sick and uh, didn't make it so we had to deal with that and then uh, tomorrow well actually today because I'm doing this tonight and you'll see this tomorrow which when you're seeing it will be today uh, which is a Tuesday I gotta go in and get some kidney stones blasted so I'm really looking forward to that so what I'm gonna do is I'm doing uh, a trip back in time here and I'm going to do a Friday morning model cars and coffee, uh, one each, and a magazine. Got to look at a magazine. And I picked a magazine that's kind of not real old and not real new. And it's just kind of, it's a scale auto, just kind of see where, well, it's an older scale auto. And then I figure next week or whenever I'm feeling good enough, I don't know how I'm going to feel after all this, but, uh, We'll do a newer scale auto and kind of see how how it changed. Not a real new scale auto, probably something in the 90s or something when the hobby was doing really good and scale auto was thick and tons of ads and stuff. So that's the plan. And then hopefully uh, after this week, everything will start getting back to fairly normal stuff. We'll see. I had kidney stone... Uh, surgery, whatever you want to call it, uh, about 12, geez, 30 years ago maybe. And I had three of them over a few year period. A couple of them went pretty smooth. One of them was pure hell. So I'm hoping for this one to be a pretty smooth one and not a pure hell one. So we'll see. You guys will all find out in a day or two, hopefully, or whenever I'm up to it. So anyways, what we're going to start with here is seeing how it's a Tuesday we'll do the little trip back in time here build first and it's uh, again another little 32 get that one out of the way this one I picked up it's been a few years it's a really nice roller I left it dirty just the way I found it and it's got the hand painted white walls it's stock you can see the paint's not the best, but it was spray painted. And the interior here, they did a pretty cool job on that with the color of the seat and the boot for the top there. And they got this hood on there. See that whole body move crazy tight. I'm just gonna leave it because oh, I'm wiping the dust away, but. They got the seams, it's almost like a one piece body. Uh, I guess back, I'm sure this is an older issue, it must have fit really good. I mean, I mean, look at the bottom here. Get my hand out of the way. Look how everything lines up and the seam, and you flip it around over here, and everything lines up. Where are we at with the seam and everything? But there is an engine motor in it and I don't know if that's a I don't think they ever came with that color of plastic it's an interesting color and it, I don't know if it's been does any of you guys out there have been around a while recognize that color because uh, everything I don't know I don't know it's a neat color or whatever it is I'm, but anyway just nice stock clean build 
Nice stock 32, which I have to build someday. I've built so many 32s, but I've never built a stock one, so I'm gonna have to do it. There's a nice shot. They did they outlined the gauges there. Really nice little clean little build that you can play with if you wanted to. Pretty cool. I did a good job on the hand painted white walls too. Anyway, this thing here I built probably a year and a half, two years ago maybe. And I don't know if it's a salt car or a drag car. I, don't, I was going for, I don't remember what I was going for. It just turned out a pretty cool looking race car, whatever, whatever way you want to go with it. But I took the interior and I put like bracing in there like with the all the inner panels were gone put some little cross bracing if you can see it there in the back there we go it cleared, it cleared up pretty good not a whole lot of detail in there just a fire extinguisher and the fuel pressure hand pump thing and move the column back a little bit and this this one the trunk that comes off so I just put a there's you can see that bracing I put a not really period correct fuel cell in there but it looks pretty good and I got the steel wheels with the caps on it and I channeled it big time and just made a belly pan for it because that's what they did on the salt on a lot of them a lot of them it would go clear up but I haven't figured out how to do that yet uh, but that looked pretty good see you yeah, trying to cover up the exhaust and whatever because it's all molded in on these things got the exhaust kicking out to the side and this one here this one here I did that suicide front end that I couldn't remember uh, what it was called to get the front end down and then that's that got a crazy dropped axle that I found in the parts box plus I did the dropped it down with the frame there too with the cross member so it got super low and I haven't had the hood off for a while this one fits pretty good too for a newer kit I mean that, that lines up pretty good and yeah, nice and snug but let's see if it'll come off without breaking anything if it goes back on hey there is a motor in there And hey, guess what? I was going to try putting some air cleaners of some kind on there. And I, well, I remember I put the hood on. I put the hood on. And this, it makes sure it cleared the carbs. And it fits so good, I just left it on. I didn't do radiator hoses or anything. So I didn't want to leave that off and finish it because I forgot all about that. Because it looks so good. And it was going so good that. Uh, I think I'll finish. I got that big giant radiator. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. A lot of drag cars didn't have radiators, so I could have just left it off, I guess, and had the, excuse me, the radiator hose come out into a tube and circulate through the block, however that worked. But, yeah, I think I'm going to finish. Whoops. I'm looking at it and not making sure you guys can see it. And I, I found some heads in the parts box. I'm going to... They're a little bit too shiny, I would say, because you can't really see them, but I don't know. Let me make this clear a little bit. Those, I don't know what they came from. Maybe a monogram, uh, the 40 Ford pickup or something. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. And a dual carb manifold. But, it, you know, and then the exhaust that's not molded on. Let's see how this side looks. It, it, you know, well, sorry, guys. I'm out of practice big time, man. This is crazy. There we go. Anyway, came out pretty good. You can see how far it's channeled down over the frame there. It's a lot of fun Did making that the bracing in there and stuff. It was just, uh, just kind of having fun with it and adding things to it as I went. So anyway, a couple decals on it. I don't like putting decals on flat finishes because they shine see that and yeah. I guess I mean a decal would shine but you just see the outline it doesn't look like a real decal but it's doable I trim up as close as I can get them 
but it's got the right look and the right stance and I cut the hood out uh, I've done that before but that old vintage kit I've shown a couple times one of my favorites uh, the guy did that so I did it again anyway that's what showed up and that other one is what showed up for uh, Friday morning model cars and coffee and a trip back in time and then I'm going to stop for a minute and we'll take a look at this old scale auto here and see what was how it was growing back in check it out 1980 and this is I think well we'll find out what what, what number it is in a minute here so hang on a sec I'm going to move things around I'll be right back yeah we're back and this is the one we're going to take a look at like I say January February 1980 let's see what number this is I can't remember oh volume one number five nice and blurry and everything works out great there we go and we'll see uh we'll see what's in here uh pretty neat. there's the Dear Enthusiast thing, kind of like a editor's uh, thing that he does every month, and uh, had the model doctor there, a lot of questions and answers, do you guys recognize any names there, maybe there's a guy from Seattle, that's close to me, maybe you guys are in one of these writing a, writing a question in. Then the first thing up here is this here uh, snake bite uh, pony. Is that what that says? Yeah, yeah. I had that kit. Yeah, we all know what happened to it. We won't go through that sad story again. But he did a nice job. All black and white back then, but it was still very excited about this magazine when I seen it down at Tammy's Hobbies in in uh, Beaverton, Oregon, down by Portland. We did a nice job on this thing here. And then uh, we got the little die cast things here. That this article was around for a while. And I didn't know about a lot of this stuff, so I was excited about this. Got me hooked on the on the little die cast cars besides Hot Wheels and Matchbox. A lot of them are out, out of my budget, but it was still cool learning about all this stuff. And then about photography, which would be cool if you had a camera, but I didn't have a camera, so but I still read it and I learned a lot that I forgot. Now we just use the old phone. Back then you had to get the camera out. I did have my brother in law take some pictures for me once for Scale Auto. He had a nice little camera, so I had him do it. It's giving you some ideas on how to set things up. And then there was another article about building that kit. I think he might have even had that a long time ago. But it wasn't too crazy about that car back then. But now I wouldn't mind having that kit. He did a nice job on that. God, I wish these were in color. There's those tires. Those are not those were nice tires back in the day. There you do a little detailing on the motor there. Remember those carburetors? Let me get a little closer here and focus it. Yeah, remember those? Yeah, pretty cool. But anyway, it's a nice looking little nice looking little cobra there. I mean Austin Healy. Was it Austin Healy? Austin Healy at 106, whatever that is. I'm not a little car expert. Oh, there's some more shots of it. Nice job on the interior. Very nice little car. The paint looks a little, might just be lots of flake in it. I don't know. Yeah, the trunk opens up. Nice build. And there was the trucker corner, corner here or, or a monthly thing. Got some nice trucks. And if you notice, we're not seeing a whole lot of advertisements yet. And then here's one of those crazy uh, expensive kits, I guess. Uh, let's turn the page here and see what they're saying here. Yeah, look at that. Holy crap. 
It's like building the real car. I don't know what these kits cost back then, but I bet they're kind of spendy now. Check that out. Damn, that's just a phenomenal kit. Look at that. God. Like building the real thing. I assume it's a kit. Maybe it's a one-off from this guy. I don't know. Maybe he builds or makes two or three a year and sells them for a couple grand. I don't know. A lot of work, man. A lot of work. Hey, Rick Mears. And the PC6. There he is waving at us. Never had that kit. I watched any car racing back then, but I wasn't into the building the model. And what do we got here? Running on. You look at some where, where, there we go. Look at some rare models from around the world. And there you go. That's pretty cool. Funny how these pictures are not even that great in the magazine. The black and white. That's cool. That is really cool. Uh, yeah, and then there's some more old uh, scale stuff here. That's pretty cool. What the kit looks like. There's that one there. Nice stuff. Look at that thing. Very cool. Again, we're not seeing I have to get in the prepped here. That white metal, whatever they call it, I think. Look at that. Nice, sweet little kits. I'm sure some of these you could buy already built, I think. I don't know. Anyway, again, we're not seeing a whole lot of ads there, everybody. Uh, remember that guy? Mark Gustafson. Very innovative uh, modeler. Uh, lots of amazing, cool stuff. That... Uh, he wrote about lots of lots of detail stuff. Very cool stuff. Yeah, there's more. There's lots of his in the first few years of this magazine. Eventually, as we go, we'll see more. Here's a. It's like they're chopping a panel there. That's interesting. And that's about it for that one. And then there's a continued from the truck in the front. There's a scale model cars ad. And there's a international model car championship. That uh, doesn't say. Oh, it's a first one. Wow, that's cool. Very cool. Furnished by those people there. Salt Lake City, it's the first one. Wow. Pretty cool. And their ads. And they're probably some pretty good deals in there. Now, back then they were expensive. There's an ad. There's an ad. Ad for an airbrush. Ad for Hoppy Town. And then next week, we'll look at a newer one and we'll compare the difference in the ads. And there's this enthusiast gallery model of the month model logging truck my brother-in-law scratch built one kind of like this with a self-loader years ago back in geez probably late 70 early 80s beautiful truck got dropped so it's gone uh, model empire fifth anniversary by now wow it's a cool ad I don't know if they're still around or not. Anyway, that's it for the ads. So we'll jump ahead, you know, in the late 90s or so next week and see how much it has changed. But, okay, so that's where we're at. So this week, I got a couple in. There we go. A couple videos in. Nice and blurry for you. There we go. All right, guys. Thanks for your patience. I really appreciate all the encouraging comments. And everybody hanging in there with me and uh, being patient. I appreciate it. Uh, all my subscribers, I thank you very much. Uh, even picked up a, a few new ones. 
going through all this so i really appreciate it uh, if you haven't you know check out some of my videos see what i do see what i like and uh if you like it uh subscribe hit that subscribe button wait a minute i'm gonna go over here because i gotta remind you guys about something so anyway i'm coming back now so anyway hit that hit all the buttons you know the comments and and the bells and all that sort of thing and if you want one of those i got them now so uh shoot me your uh, address and the you know where place and i'll send you one or send out a few all right this has been long enough everybody take care thanks again i really appreciate it guys so we'll talk at you later bye